Um, so this next guy, I, I have not had the privilege of seeing him perform, um, but I'm a huge fan of what he does. Uh, again, show of dreams, I remember that. Um, magic, magicians, uh, the magic castle, illusions, sleight of hand, uh, prestidigitation, everything like that. One of my favorite things in the world, one of my favorite things on the planet. I'm very excited to have this guy here. He's a world-class musician. He's a comic book creator of a comic book called Smoke and Mirrors. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. John Armstrong! It's always awesome to go on right after a parody of your art form. <laughs> That's the way I want to go on all the time. Uh, it was really funny about that to me, because at first he actually parodied magic, which is kind of what I do, and I also am a consultant for Walt Disney Imagineering. So, uh, uh, so that's pretty much my life in a nutshell. Uh, all right, something amazing. Uh, here we go. Uh, Oh. Whoa. What do people want? Blood? That was awesome. So, <laughs> I got that through both my chins. I have no idea how you did that. Like, that was incredible. Huh. So uh, I will show you something hopefully impressive uh, with a uh, with a deck of cards. Uh, that's these cards here. And it uh, looks like we have two laymen in the audience and the rest are <laughs> the entire huge crowd here. So uh, we'll do something hopefully impressive. Uh, if I can get a little bit of uh, audience like that'd be awesome. So I can go ahead and help myself here. Awesome. Um, gentlemen here. Hi, sir. How are you? I asked a question, sir. How are you? Oh, good. Didn't mean to get you upset. You have to realize. Look around you. So it is slim picking. So, um, and I don't want to waste the layman on this. So we're gonna. I'm going to run through the cards like this. If you wouldn't mind, you're just going to say stop any card you like. Make any sense? Okay. Say stop, sir. Stop. Let's see the card. Everybody see it. There you go. And uh, before the show, did we, uh, we did we meet? Did I set anything up of you? No. Okay, you're not the guy. <laughs> uh, right, we'll just, right. I think it's always important to do the classics of magic. So we're going to do a uh, magic trick that was very, very popular back in the 1980s. <laughs> okay, that's not your car, but that is hilarious. Name <laughs> <laughs> your card, please. Six of clubs? Sorry. Thank God you were there, lady. <laughs> Six of clubs, yes? Or spades? Spades, watch. Six of spades. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I will do that trick. And people will come up to me after the show. They'll be like, man, I wouldn't want to play cards with you. As though people wouldn't catch on to this. <laughs> pretty obvious. <laughs> For the record here, hold on. <laughs> You're good to pick the six clubs anyway. Yeah, it's a legitimate art form. Fuck you, Lynch. We'll try something hopefully impressive. I think this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I need a little bit of a table here. I brought my water because I'm thirsty. And I'm going to put the deck of cards uh, here-ish. And uh, let's see the gentleman right there. Not the gentleman in the front row, but the third row in glasses. I'm looking right at you. What is your name, sir? Rick. Rick, name a number from, from 1 uh, to 10, please. 7. 7 it is? Are you sure? Yes. Again, did we, no, honestly, though, we didn't set anything up. I don't know you. No. 7? Okay. Mm -hmm. 7. 7. <laughs> Number. He said 
seven, the cards found here. <laughs> Someone shout out a number number for me, a lower number. Three. Three it is. Watch, I will uh, find the threes with just one hand. This hand. No. Yeah! This hand. Oh. Uh, Sign so now that I actually show you a trick that you all be able to do. I think it's always very important to be able to show you a trick uh, that you'll be able to actually do. So uh, what you need to do this is a spoon. Uh, you need a spoon, and uh, you take the spoon and you stick it in your mouth. Yay! That's not the trick. Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is more like a bar bet, you know, somebody would actually go in uh, to a bar, bet they couldn't do it, you know, you bet your friends, you know, that uh, they couldn't do this, they won't do it, you'll make money from them, and then you lose your friends. Uh, so what you do is you take the spoon, and you bet that they can't do this, so they can't put the spoon in their mouth, or put it around. So like this, and go like this. You bet them they can't do that, now they're going to be able to do that, but you're just setting them up for the big payoff, the kill. Because then what you say is, okay, you can do that. But this time you have to do the exact same thing. But this time, no hands. So you have to keep the hands like, and then you have to spin a spoon around. So you'll be able to see that I can spin a spoon around. I have a card, a card that allows you to see it. But I spin around with just my mouth. What? Ho ho. <laughs> I spin it around with just my mouth. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Little hands, how to do it, they won't be able to do it. The hands, the hot hot. The hands, the mouth, is too smooth. The food, the. And the hold of that, the hot. So I will go into the audience and pick something completely and totally at random. <laughs> Come here, you ask me. arrange anything. I no. said, you said you wanted to do a trick yes. because you've always wanted to do a trick, yes. but and be on a stage with a magician because it's your birthday, yes. but we did not, I, not, I told you nothing else. Nothing. And I, I was very vague. I was like, I won't even tell you yeah, what I'm going to do. Like, I already want people to think that. Yeah. All right, good. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a game. Uh, I'll put these here. Hold out your hands like this. Yeah, you were definitely in drama club. Seriously, I just told you what to do. <laughs> no, no, you're supposed to like, ah, I'm supposed to take my hands away, you're supposed to slap my hand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay go. Yeah, definitely drama club. <laughs> now, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. That's, yeah, it's a reflex game, right? It's a reflex game. So I will show you a reflex game that's a little more sophisticated than that. Put your hands back up and face the audience this time. I'm going to put a card in your hand. Okay. And your job now is with this hand to grab this card before I can grab it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. that's, that hand's too far away, so you will do like this. And now the idea is you just grab the card. Now notice, <laughs> you will always lose. The reason why you're losing is because I have a huge advantage. I'm going first, you're reacting after me, thus you will most likely lose. Yeah. But uh, to give you an advantage, and to make this as fair as possible, and since you people are pristine, 
total layman <laughs> that we have not spoken in any way. You're not even from here. You don't know this guy, right? Yeah. What is your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur, come up here, and they'll round, give you a round of applause. <laughs> Arthur, to make this, fair, to make this uh, completely fair, you're going to choose a card that's going to be his card for the rest of the time. That way, no one thinks that so we was, uh, we're in cahoots or anything, right? Or, you know, okay. And all the cards are different, Arthur. Would you agree with me on this? Yeah. Okay. And what I'd like you to do for me is to go ahead and stick out a finger. Very nice. Uh, and just touch a card. Please. Take, it out. Take it out. Take it out. Show it around everybody. And you can see it too. Can you see it? All right. From now on, that is his card. Uh, do me a favor, Arthur. Uh, say stop again. And what I'm going to ask you to do is take some of these cards and add that card that he has seen to those cards, mix up inside there so you don't know which one of those is, and he doesn't know which one of those is his card. Good? Is that fair? Excellent. When you're done with that, would you agree with me that this is not the card? Yes. Not the card. S stick the rest of the cards on top. All three may sit down and join your new wife. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here's the game. You ready? Mm -hmm. Put your hands out again and sort of be position. The idea is this. I am going to turn cards over one at a time. You know what card you're looking for. I don't. Okay. You, sir, then have to keep a poker face. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will turn the card over, place it inside your hand. If it is indeed your card, you then take this hand, slap it down on top of it. You'll be able to react before I can react, and yet I'm, I'm just going to still try to grab the card out. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so give it a practice run. Pretend like this is your card. Okay. So book face. <laughs> this is more constipation, but okay. All right, just, just, there you go. Just, there you go. All right, turn the card over. If it's your card, you do what? Uh, and keep your hand on top of it so that I can't actually, because if I can do this and grab it out, right. you lose. Okay. So hand on top. Are right, you want to practice? Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, feel good. Feel good. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to turn cards one at a time over uh, from these cards here that he mixed up. Here we go. Looking for your card. Look at your faces. Let's see what's going on here. I can be able to tell just by your reaction whether or not this is actually your card. <laughs> <laughs> the nine of spades. Nine of spades. <laughs> see the sweat gleaming on your forehead. The three of diamonds. Well, that was good. <laughs> that was very good. So yeah, let you wait it was your birthday. Right. It's pretty good, huh? Right, yeah. yeah? See, you're able to beat the magician. You'll be able to tell all your friends the story. Oh, so it's going to be great. <laughs> Just show everybody the three of diamonds, and we'll keep moving. Oh! Give me the next one. Give me the next one. Oh, that's not it either. Keep going. Keep going. I win. <laughs> gentleman here picked any card he wanted, right? Yes, he did. Yeah. But I have to bring it back, because uh, if you don't actually um, bring it back, it doesn't sort of complete the rule of magic. You, you guys saw the prestige, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, what I decided to do is I uh, took the card, because I'm very lightning fast. I was able to snatch it away from you, fold it up, and then um, uh, where's your wallet? No way. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's totally not there. Put that away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been <laughs> <laughs> What I decided to do is I decided to do as I put it into the folds of your handkerchief. Sir, take out the handkerchief, unfold it, and you can see that it's just a weird thing. Yeah, uh, this is a thing. It's not even a, an actual handkerchief. Okay. Because that was the bit I was going with. Um, do me a favor. It, stick it, uh, put your hand to your actual breast pocket there. See if there's anything inside there. Yeah. Dollar bill. My mom thanks. Dollar bill. Is there anything else inside there? There's a folded up card. Oh no, seriously, hold on, hold on, hold on, before you move on any further. We did not set this up. No, I did not put that. I, I and I got and nowhere near you. And I did not say I was going to put anything in your breast no. pocket. Yes. You were surprised you see that. Yes. And, uh, and you chose any card you wanted. The card was the three of diamonds. Please show that to everybody. Yeah. And <laughs>